All right. Um, so we're going to work on naming polygons today. Polygons. Polynomials. Sorry, I got my geometry brain going. All right. And first thing is standard form, which just means when you have this big, long polynomial, it has to be in order by degree. So something that is x to the fourth comes before something that is x to the third comes before something that's x to the second comes before something that's x to the first comes before something that's no x at all. All right. So you always, if they give you a whole bunch of, of terms, all right, want to put them in order by degree. All right. So this is the thing I put first. This is my leading term. And it's x to the fourth because it's the biggest one. Right? Now they might not always have, there might not be an x to the second, right? So it would just be x to the fourth something plus x to the third something plus x to the first something plus a number, right? There is no x to the second in that case. Or maybe it is x to the third plus one, right? And there is no x to the second, there is no x to the first. So you won't always have everything, but you still want to put it in order by degree. Everybody okay with standard form? Pretty basic, I hope. The complicated parts of standard form, when you get more than one variable, we're not going to sweat that, at least not in this year. And so when I go to name it, every polynomial has two names. And so I'm just going to say it like it's a first name. And the last thing, everything gets two names. One is his name based on its degree. And that's the degree of the first term. Not the degree of the whole thing, just the degree of the first term. And then it gets named based on the number of terms it has in total. Like the first one, the degree is four because it's the first term, x to the fourth degree four. But it has one, two, three, four, five parts. So five terms. So degree four, west, degree four, quartic. Five parts, anything with four or more parts, we're just going to call polynomial. So I would name that one a quartic polynomial. This one, degree three, cubic. Hopefully a lot of you already know degree three, degree two and degree one. Two parts binomial. So again, I made it based on the degree of the first term and the number of total terms. For our class, for our class, I only care that you know those three words, linear, quadratic, and cubic. So if you don't call it quartic or quintic, that's fine. But what can you do instead? And that's this N. For anything, really, you can call it, so if it's X to the 17th, plus x squared plus five, right? The biggest one is 17, and we don't have to memorize all the names of every number. So we're just gonna call it 17th degree. And it's got one, two, three parts, so it's a trinomial. So for any, any number bigger than three, so like for the first one, if you don't remember the word quartic, you can just tell me it's a fourth degree polynomial. That's fine. Okay. Or if you don't remember quintic, that's fine. Just tell me it's a fifth degree polynomial. Or it's x to the eighth, it's an eighth degree polynomial. If in our class, if you tell me something like, let's say this one, you tell me it's a third degree binomial, you're not wrong. It is a third degree binomial, but you don't use that word cubic, I will mark you down. I'm expecting that we're learning the words because it's big parts of what we're doing in this algebra two class. 
a linear quadratic cubic awards I expected? No. If it was just one term, so it was just like x to the sixth, right? And that's it. Then it's a six degree monomial. With the terms, it's just by prefix, right? So mono means one. Uni means one, two, unicycle, right? But we use mono for monomial, right? Bicycle, two wheels, binomial, two terms. Tricycle, three wheels, trinomial, three terms. And then poly just means many, right? So four or more is polynomial. Anybody have a question? 